a realistic and easy but effective close guard break. Hey guys, Coach Tom, I'm here with Reese. We all get stuck in the close guard and some people, whether they're tall or short, lanky or strong, it can be hard navigating their close guard without ending up in some kind of tricky open guard or sweep or submission, let alone just sometimes trying to break people's close guards and their legs don't come open or we can't get posture enough to stand. Here's a little hack I use and uh, it's one that you can use as well. And uh, I give credit with this technique to uh, my coach, Professor Carlos Machado, uh, Coral Belt BJJ in Texas. You guys gotta check that guy out if you're ever in Dallas or nearby. Um, because he gave me a few pointers on this that really, really helped. So, if I'm in closed guards with Reese here, sometimes you just can't get out of people's closed guards, okay? He might have my posture broken, things like that, and I could be in my gi or not and uh, I'm gonna face similar problems. He's gonna be breaking my guard down, he can collar choke me in the gi, but especially if he's got my posture broken, sometimes it can be hard to get my posture back to stand up. And if I've got my posture down like this and I start trying to stand up, I'm primed to getting arm locked and swept all these different ways. So, what's my strategy if I'm either really tired or he's broken me down? I wanna get inside control, okay, as best I can and I'm gonna pile forward, I'm gonna put my weight on him. It's really important to practice this because you have to put weight on him, okay? So you can feel my weight right, Reese. Yeah. okay? So you can get into this same position, which I'll do now, with no weight. And I say, do you feel weight? No. no. Same position, it's kind of invisible here, right? With weight, okay. So what I'm trying to do, whether I was in my gi or not, is I'm gonna wait for him to stop pulling me down. As soon as he starts trying to push to create space, which he, I, everyone will do, then I'm gonna stand up. But I'm gonna stand up like that. So I'm almost gonna walk forwards to get up, especially if he's a big guy. So I'm gonna be here, he's holding my posture, and I'm keeping my weight on him, I just drive my weight on him, and then as soon as he starts pushing me to create space, I stand up, okay? And I'm gonna break his gut. Because I've got him at such a steep angle, okay? I'm just gonna hold his waist, gi or no gi, you can hold the belt in the gi, drive my elbow in, and just push down here. Okay, now I can start trying to pass. Okay, let's have a look again. Close guard. He's broken my posture. I don't want to really try to get my posture back too much because he can attack with so many things. So I get inside control and I go forward and I put my chest to weight on him. Now that I'm here, as soon as he starts pushing me, I get up and I bring my elbows in. Hold his hip, elbow in, push his knee, break that guard every time. Okay, it doesn't matter if he's a skinny guy, a lanky guy, a strong guy. You're gonna stand up, you're gonna defend, and you are going to get the break. But most importantly, when I'm here in Reese's guard, if I'm forward like this, okay, even if I'm here and he tries to get sweeps on me or submissions, just go for it, whatever you want, Reese, okay. All right, it's really uncomfortable. Yet if we follow the jiu-jitsu rule book, right, it kind of sucked, right, it's a bit annoying. But if I be a good jiu-jitsu person and I try to get posture, and now we play the same game and I'll give the same level of resistance, so you can attack me, sweep me, just do whatever you like. I'm doing the same thing. I might be able to resist for a while, but with the same level of resistance I was giving, Reese is able to catch me out, okay? If I didn't get arm locked, he probably would have swept me, but I can do the same level of resistance now with the broken posture, and you'll see a different result. Okay, go for it, whatever you want. So he's doing the same attacks, right? But that's a lot more frustrating. So then what will Reese do? He's gonna start pushing at me to get his face back, and now I'm standing up. So it's a really great thing. It's kind of really frustrating for people, but especially when you're in the gi and people can try to choke you by moving forward on them, you nullify their choke. Their choke is strong here, not here, okay? So give it a try. It's almost a little bit like a bad habit though because we're, you're having bad posture. And your coach has always said, get good posture first. But that's really great sometimes if you're Hodger Gracie and you had good posture to begin with. But when you're exhausted and they pulled you down, moving forwards and then up is not only an easier, I think it's a safer and more effective option. Enjoy, have fun on the mats. I'm Coach Tom, I'll see you next time.
Thanks for watching the video guys, I hope you loved it. For more free videos, click here. And if you'd like to get our free Foot Lock Master Course, please click here. And if you'd like to help support me so I can help bring you high level Jiu Jitsu for free every day, please click here. Thank you for watching guys, I'm Coach Tom, I'll see you next time.